Hello guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending where you're watching the video from and the time you're going to see this video. I remember my humble self, the Eichmann. If you're coming across my videos for the first time, I'd like you to share my videos, like, comment, and follow my page. That is what is called engagement. Still on Niger Republic military takeover. I want us to watch this particular clip from a Uganda president. This man, in his speech, has exposed so many things concerning this Niger military takeover. He has explained the secrets behind this, this particular takeover. He has explained the reason why the, the France and Western world don't want to give up on that particular Niger, Niger as a country. Try to watch this video. You know that our some of our African leaders are the reason why Africa stay like this. And I thank God for the thing that is happening in Africa these days. Because I got a news that this Niger military takeover, the, 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 the military that took over that place has appointed a civilian as their finance minister to manage the economy of that country. And that, that should tell you that they did not do what they did out of selfish interest. They really want the country to work. And if you take the history of the person they appointed, that man is somebody that has a, 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 a history of, of, of good management as far as economy is concerned. Just watch this video from this Uganda president and watch the things he revealed concerning the military takeover. Watch the things he said concerning our African leaders. Our African leaders should work up. I've been saying it time with that number. The Western world are not our problem. We are the one that are using ourselves to sell ourselves to them. Yes, we are, our leaders are selling us to them. We have everything to build ourselves, but still, we, we still depend on them. Just watch this particular clip. As I'm watching it, try to share it, like it, comment, and follow my page if you are not following me. It is you. I've got a lot of uranium here. You have heard of the quarrels going on in Niger. There is a crisis now in an African country known as Niger. I think some of our friends from West Africa know, know it better. Togo and, uh, and Cam Cameroon, they know it better. You have heard of the quarrels going on in, in, in Niger, in West Africa about uranium being taken to Europe. That's how I, I, I came to know recently. When this crisis started, we started getting information that apparently Niger is exporting a lot of uranium to Europe and to France for them to, to use in their nuclear power stations to generate electricity for themselves. So this morning I took interest. I said, by the way, what is the electricity supply in Niger? Before you sell uranium to the other person, how about you? What's happening to you? Now I found, I was told, there is a measurement they, kill, they call kilowatt, kilowatt hour per capita. Kilowatt hour per capita. Uh -huh. Apparently, the kilowatt hour per capita of electricity in Niger is 51. 51. Every person in, in, in Niger is using 51 kilowatt hour per capita. Uh, the, G, the GDP of Niger is US dollar 613. Now, here in Uganda, our kilowatt hour per capita was very low, was like this in the, some years ago. Was as low as this one of, of, of Niger. But now it's about 300. Still very low, but that's where it is. Then how about the United States? 
what is the kilowatt hour per capita of the United States? 12,000. Twelve thousand. And there is a country called Iceland. It has got a lot of electricity. Uh, of course, they have got a small population, but it is fifty-four thousand. Now, Uganda has got a lot of uranium. Some years ago, a Western company came and proposed to mine, to, to mine the uranium. They came here, said they want, want to mine the uranium. I asked them, mine it and take it where? They said, export it. That was their answer. I asked them, export it for what purposes? They told me, for the purposes of generating nuclear energy for electricity and other uses such as medicine, vector control, etc. I then asked them, have you had a rumor that there are some human beings here in Uganda who need electricity, who need nuclear medicine? and who need vector control services. I asked them, you want to take the uranium, but have you had a rule that there are some human beings here? It's not confirmed that they are there, but could, could it be a rumor that there are some human beings here? Why don't you propose to build that capacity here for the, benefit, for the benefit, benefit of these human beings who live in Uganda. And maybe we can put aside some quantity of uranium for supporting the economies of our friends in the West. After that, after you, you have addressed my issue, I can also share with you so that you, you also go and solve yours. But to tell me that you solve my problems and forget yours, I, I cannot accept that. They never came back. They never came back. 